So I was coming to park in my driveway at my house and then it's like, whoa, there's a fire in my driveway. So now we're gonna see what's happening with the driveway fire. Something is happening here. It's Dimitri in his natural habitat. <laughs> what are you doing, Dimitri? I'm making charcoal, biochar, with bamboo and with this little metal cone-like structure, which is some people call a cone tiki. Cone tiki? Yeah. Okay, so you, you cut the bamboo down. Is that bamboo dry? It's six. It was cut six weeks ago, so it's not okay. fully dry because we're in winter time, going into spring. But you could see that it's duller than usual. Okay, so you cut the bamboo. Now you're over here. You're making it into charcoal. Yeah, and like as you see ashes here, you see yeah. like the ashes starting to build. That's when you want to add more bamboo to it. And then you're squirting it with the water hose. Not yet. At the end. At the end. Yeah. Okay, and then and then this is some that you already made. This is some of char. This is the first batch we made in there. So that was that's how much came out of this kentucky kiln. Yep. Okay. What are you using this for? Well, what inspired it was to maybe use it as infill, like insulation in my walls of this new um, extension of my hut I'm making for to have a kitchen basically and okay. so we're thinking about this being insulative because it has all these tiny holes in it and let's check it out and um let's yeah and there's so much surface area and little tiny holes and yeah. we thought that it could act as a nice insulation okay. also being great for the earth because now we're like storing carbon in my walls for probably decades or centuries that's so exciting. Yeah. Um, but then there's just like so many other ideas around using this. Like we can, you can make also adobe bricks. You can like have it for agricultural use. Like we can make, we're thinking about maybe like what if we got a, bla um, a blacksmith to like weld a six foot version of this. So yeah. That, like we can cut these into like six foot lengths and put in way bigger chunks and like make way more biochar for the, like the community for all the different uses and like have them in our bamboo grove so like like utilizing the bamboo that we're basically just cutting because they're just spreading into the roads and just leaving in the carbon dump going back into the atmosphere but now we could actually utilize it so we can have charcoal we can like put in our gardens our farms um you know so many like Keep it in room spaces to help with mold and smells. Hooray for charcoal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well stay tuned for, for how it all works out with Dimitri's building project. <laughs>